Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the index function in Google Sheets. The index function is a nifty little tool that allows you to take a range of data, we're going to use this as an example in the video, and pick out a piece from that set and display it in another cell. There are different ways you can use this. That What I just explained was kind of the simple way, and then there are other more important or more complex ways you can use it that I think will be of value and we're going to talk about those as well. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the simple uses of the index function and how it works. So as I have written up here, the index function will display it in this cell over here. We'll do equals and then we'll type in index, I-N-D-E-X, and start our parentheses. The first thing you're going to select is the reference, so the range that you want to use. And we're going to select this, this whole thing, headers included, and then comma, and then simply you're going to type in numbers for the row and column that you want to use. So say in this cell we want to display the height of Peter, which is in the third row, one, two, three, and the third column, we'll do after the reference which we put in, three, comma, three, and then we'll hit enter and we should get six foot three, and we have six foot three displayed. So it's pretty simple. Uh, another example, say you wanted the name of Carol displayed in this box, you do equals index highlight the whole thing again and this is row number five and column one so we'll do five comma one enter and you get carol so pretty simple now we're going to look at another way you can use the index function one that i think is kind of cool so if you'll remember and i recommend you watch it if you haven't watched it but in a previous video i talked about the google finance function and some of the things you could do with that so let's do this. We'll type in a ticker that we want to use and say we'll do Tesla. And then in this cell, we'll do equals Google Finance. And remember that the first one you use is the ticker. So we'll click on our cell that has the ticker, comma. We'll display the price, comma. And then we'll do the price from five days ago, so about a week in, in five business days. So we'll do today with open parentheses, close parentheses, minus five, and then hit enter. So this gives us a little chart of the date and the close price, but say we only wanted to display the close price and not the other aspects of this chart, the index function would come into play. So in a separate cell, you can do equals index, and then you want just the close price here. So we're going to select our range, which is the whole thing. You have to do the whole thing, comma, two, because it's the second row, comma, two, the second column. And then we'll hit enter, and it'll get the price. Now you can embed it so that this is all one function. So what you're going to do is take the Google Finance function that we have here and make that the reference instead of H3 to I4. So just go into the Google Finance function and then highlight the whole thing, minus the equal sign, copy, and then take the reference reference range that you used for the index function, then hit paste. And then when you hit enter, it should give you the price. So it's using the index function with another function embedded inside of it to get what you want. Then once you do that, you, you don't even need the Google Finance function anymore. So you just have Tesla and the five-day closing price on the stock. One thing I wanted to mention real quick before we wrap up this video is that 
since you've created your full index function with the Google Finance function embedded, it will work across multiple stock tickers. So we can type in Apple, Amazon, whatever you want to type in. And then if you drag the function down, it'll just change the ticker and give you the five day price for all the stocks. So once again, another cool little feature you can do. And I hope you learned something from this video. When I first learned this, I thought it was really cool. And I think you'll like it as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and comment. And as always, subscribe. Thank you.